Hi guys and welcome back. So let's clear this energy. It's a very important message. Okay, like sure. Alright, I lip glosses and all crazy. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Okay. There are people around you that cannot conceal their insecurities anymore. No one is going to be able to conceal their insecurities around you anymore. So brace yourself, okay? Literally brace yourself because I'm feeling like a lot of people are going to try to communicate with this, with you this week and it's not going to be people being nice, okay? These are people in a, in a positions of authority, people that you've been trying to sidestep because they're always trying to come in and block your creativity, block your happiness, and they have lingering resentment towards you. So you're gonna have to take a stand. You're going to have to take a stand against these people or whoever this is, whoever I'm talking to. These people seek to control you in, in any setting. They abuse their power, they're cowards, they could have been teaming up against you. They're trying to cause unseen problems. Okay. And you're going to have some type of victory from taking a stand against whoever this is. Okay. It's going to require balanced judgment, standing up for yourself. And you're going to feel maybe a little bit inexperienced with doing this with people of authority. So this could be a boss or an elder. And this could scare you a little bit because <clears throat> this person doesn't have good intentions. This person's always overindulging. You guys are in this place in your life where you're cautious. You go within. Um, you're triumphing over evil, but there's like a cycle or something that you're going to have to complete with authority figures. Okay, so these people, they're going to be popping up like daisies. They're going to be popping up left and right. They're going to be trying to message you, text you, email you, talk to you. Okay, whoever this person is, they're very jealous. They're fickle. They switch up all the time. They always flip. They always switch the script. They're always trying to make you look foolish. Yeah, we got the tower. So... This cycle is coming to an uh, upheaval. Whoever I'm talking to, there's going to be some type of compromise or reconciliation, but it's going to come after you tell these people to fuck all the way off. Okay, 333 when I said that. So that means that you guys are divinely supported. Your ancestors, your spirit team is on standby for these people that are trying to cause unexpected fear or illusions. Um... These people could be trying to make it seem like you don't have the position that you have or you don't hold the position that you hold. And as you brace yourself, you're going to liberate yourself at the same time. You're going to be freeing yourself of people like this or a cycle like this with authority or elders um done people pleasing done playing the nice person okay so i see confrontation with whoever this is but i'm seeing that you're also going to sort it out and be triumphant like publicly this person is um these people are seeing you in a new light you're about to show them how gifted gets down Already you're 10 steps ahead, okay? You're already sniffing out this situation because you're seeing clues and things that are passive aggressive with their behavior, okay? And this is because as your confidence grows, as your light grows, they start coming closer, okay? They're creeping, they're peeping, they're looking, they're stalking, they're trolling. So this situation with them not being able to conceal their insecurities, you're gonna have to put them in their place. Okay, so drop your microphone down below if you know that you're going to have to put these people in their place. You're going to have to put them where they go. You're going to be able to do this with 
some type of confidence or it's going to appear as you are it's going to appear like you are doing this with confidence whether you feel like that or not um these people feel restricted by you they feel like you get a lot of attention uh, they want a painful ending they're either like trying to get you fired yeah this person these people have been trying to say things bad things about you okay so none of these people in this group are going to be able to hide how they feel and they've been trying to make you feel some type of way they've been trying to exclude you they've been trying to make you feel insecure they've been trying to make you feel like you standing in your power is wrong uh i'm just getting a lot of gaslighting energy they could be nice to you one minute and then crazy the next and it's like, just as you guys are excited, yeah, just as you guys are excited. I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer or just an air sign in general. I'm just getting a lot about communication, okay? These people are stalking you. They're stalking your love life, your relationship. They're watching everything that you and your person do. If this person's in an unhealthy or these people are in an unhealthy relationship, one of the things they are most insecure about is your union, okay? Your divine counterpart, your divine feminine, your divine masculine. So they are trying to, for some reason, this glow up of yours, your gifts has them, has you back on their radar. Okay, sorry if I'm tripping over my words. I'm trying to get out a lot of downloads at once. And they try to put you in a position of poverty they try to have you feel abandoned by everybody around you, your peers, your coworkers. And you guys are in this like, whoa, you guys are in this lone wolf like status and you're getting used to it, okay? You are getting used to being the lone wolf. And even though you're inexperienced in being really secure in this position by yourself, I mean, really by yourself, not even having an ally at work to talk to or another elder to talk to because it's your peace at this time means that much to you. Okay. There's too many people around you that you cannot trust. That are deceptive. They're tattletales. They're um, feeding these people of authority information about you. You can sense this. So you've really gone into hermit mode at work or around your family, okay? And you're just very cautious right now because anything that isn't anything that isn't vibrating at a level of truth, you're not about that life right now. You're not about it. Now we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor in Reverse, and the Strength card. Okay, so you guys could definitely be a Leo. And what I'm getting is this person is most likely your boss or it could be a father figure or somebody with, um, it could be a feminine with toxic masculine energy. They're always going and doing and having the control and oversee and micromanage. Okay, this person abuses their power. They're a tyrant. They're intrusive of your space. They try to make you guys feel like shit. And they see you uh, fulfilling your destiny. They still They see you stepping into your purpose. And this really bothers them. Like you are strengthening your position in life. So they're really about to see how gifted gets down. Okay. So I want you guys to comment down below. They're about to see how gifted, the gifted gets down. This, whoever this is. Okay. So you guys are in this hermit mode. Because you are seeing everybody that has even a sliver of power is emotionally manipulative. They're gaslighting, breadcrumbing, lying, manipulating, just being deceitful. Okay, these people could all hang out together. They're always trying to stop your plans. These people at one time, I feel like you tried to build them. And it's like that song. Remember that I tried to build you. Now I'm not worried about shit. 
these people are acting like you're lost it's like i'm not as lost as you think so it's just a lot of gaslighting like i feel like you guys were supportive of this person in the past and you started really stepping into your power comment down below i'm stepping into my power i'm about to show them how gifted gets down comment down below i am always 10 steps ahead yeah your glow up smells like cookies baking in the oven and 11 11 when i said that your glow up smells like cookies baking in the oven it's like a rainbow you can't unsee everybody sees this vibe that you're emanating comment down below their setback is my comeback this is your comeback tour okay and you're gonna have to clap back a little bit right now there are some of these people that you're having to finish a cycle with of shutting them down so you're gonna have to sprinkle a little clap back in there okay comment down below i can sprinkle clap back with grace okay i can sprinkle clap back with grace you used to try to build them up and guess what now you're not worried about shit now you're not worried about shit these people have been doing things in excess and they have been giving you a lack of recognition. So this could be really triggering to you right now because they're going above and beyond. This is a team of people or a group of people that cannot control their insecurities around you anymore. It's going to show. It's going to stink. You're going to see it. It's going to be loud. Okay. And they've wanted you to fail. They've wanted you to give up. They've wanted to give you lack of recognition. They've tried to stop you from making money. They've tried to stop you from winning. And just... The devil is a liar, okay? The devil is a liar. You guys could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, the world. You are destined to get your wish fulfillment after having to put some of these people in their place. And you're going to try your best to do that with grace. But it's everyone's coming out of the gates because of these transits with some hot tempered insecure petty labelle messy boots demon the house type of energy and want you guys to brace yourself but don't worry you're about to show them how gifted gets down you are gifted gifted they're jealous of your assertiveness they're jealous of your confidence They're jealous that you don't abuse power. You don't need to abuse power for people to listen to you. Comment down below. I don't think about you at all. Just these people try to hold on to your blessings. And you're like, bitch, my blessings are over here. Comment down below. I don't think about you at all. I don't think about you at all. You're over here recovering, resting, relaxing. And you're going to have to pop up out of your nap to handle a bitch or five, okay? Oh, these people. Yeah, judgment day. So this is going to be painful for them, to say the least, okay? This is going to be painful for them. Drop your trumpets down below. Drop your trumpets down below because Judgment Day is here. The Day of Reckoning is here. These people are, they're losing love in their life right now. So that's another reason why you're on their radar. And they, they're trying to cause confrontation with you, an argument with you. They're trying to get you up out of your seat when they need to take several. And they have a lack of action. They're always trying to confuse you. So there is something that you guys are learning to do on your own and you guys are becoming more practical with your prosperity and your gifts and how to obtain certain things. Okay. So 
it just looks like to your ops and your haters and your trolls like you're comfortable right now and they're trying to figure out why you don't need them because everyone around them needs them but you don't need them so that's why these people are are smelling you sniffing you looking at you stalking it stalking you trolling you watching everything you're doing and you can feel it okay comment down below i am a star messenger i am a bold leader I am divinely protected. Your guys' confidence is growing. After you guys handle this little confrontational malfunction, okay, you guys are going to get a huge boost in your confidence, okay? It's like in a video game, you're gonna like get to level up too from really putting these people where they go. Because this is like dealing with people of authority, okay? Sorry, my stomach's growing. It's like these people have this hunger for you. They're just... We got the bison. You guys are learning how to recognize the riches of the past and the abundance of the present. These people are also really mad. They're salty because you're happy on your own. You're doing battle by yourself. And you're grateful. So you guys are tuning in right now. You guys are very tuned in with your psychic abilities. Very tuned in with your gifts. On the fact that these people are coming for you. Okay? Music could be really important to you guys right now. You guys could be listening to a lot of music. To like get in the, the right mindset to deal with certain people. Or to keep you distracted from thinking negative thoughts. But you guys are going to be breaking these chains, uh, chains with authority. And you guys are going to be breaking a generational curse. So maybe in your family, everybody deals with um, authority like this. And you guys are going to be realizing that even your gifts, small or big or whatever the size, are gifts that you possess that you treasure. You guys have been persistent on your spiritual journey. Whoever I'm talking to, you guys are going to let courage lead you. So I would definitely stay prayed up right now because your ancestors want to be by your side to help you. Comment down below, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. Okay, comment down below, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. Comment down below. I stay prayed up and strapped in every sense of the word. These people, you could have thought you already closed this chapter with them. And you're going to have to deal with them again. Um, it could be because of this Mars retrograde. But you're dealing with a lot of trickster energy and how you follow through with things and how you deal with authority and social settings and how you're perceived. These people are not aware of how fast you can adapt to things. They're mad at how medicinal and healing you are to others. You guys can heal others in any setting. Comment down below. I can heal others in any setting. Yeah, we got the mermaid. So you guys have been trying to learn how to go with the flow. You guys are learning how to use your voice. Comment down below. I can finesse anything I desire. Okay, and you will finesse this confrontation. You're going to put the ball back in their court because this is like that um, hurt people, hurt people. You're going to be looking at them like, yeah, you, you want to talk to me crazy. But what it really is, is this shit. What it really is, you guys know. They want to make you feel some type of way. They want to make you feel less than. They want to make you guys uh, go back in your shell. So you guys have been learning more about people that act like this. Okay. And... These people think that they can fool you again and again and again. 
and you just haven't been giving them the time of day and you're going to go from surviving around people of authority to thriving. So you're going to be calling on your inner coyote. And we have a wolf. So you're going to be going through a new portal, a new timeline. We have grace and spirit. So your spirit guides are going to be with you. And again, you're going to be handling this clap back with grace because you're going to put it back on them. This stuff that they're projecting, you're going to put it back on them. You're going to make the, these people look really stupid. I'm getting a lot about your womb healing. So there's something about this that's not only going to complete a cycle for you, but it's going to bring out your righteous rage. Like you are going to unleash world war something on these people because this is effect. This could, without you really realizing it, could ne have negatively been affecting your health. And it was like a pattern that you were repeating by not going around certain people because you know how they are. It's just not worth your time. But you guys have you guys have really leveled up and gotten so much wiser with doing this. So you guys are creating panther power. And I've got womb healing twice, righteous rage and sensuality. And then we got the sacred spiral cycles, unfolding and patterns. So this cycle is unfolding so you can deal with it. Okay. We're getting a lot about wolves, coyotes, and panthers. Okay. Wolves, the wolf spirit, the coyote spirit, and the panther spirit. And this is a lot about how you communicate too. So you're, um, you're like the owl. Okay. You're going to be hearing things different, seeing things different, remembering things different, recollecting things differently, and you're going to be commuting, com the, communicating differently. And then we have the hawk. You guys are walking into your divine purpose. You're going to be very aware right now. These people are coming in loud, like stomping their feet. Like they're not even tiptoeing. They're not even tiptoeing. Like, where do they do that at? But really, though, they're trying to bring this uh, BS to your doorstep. And you're done killing people with kindness. You're, do you're done being overly cautious. Whoever this is, whoever I'm talking to, you guys are not going to eat their shit anymore. Okay, you're not going to take this from them anymore. They've been affecting your life in a negative way. And causing unnecessary stress. Okay, communicating with you in a not professional manner. Okay. And you guys are going to be sharp and strategic as the Queen of Wands, as the King of Swords, as the King of Cups. You guys have been working hard on this. So I want you guys to remember I was made for all of this. Okay, I'm a star messenger. I was made for all of this. So it's not just for the people that were healing the people that have to learn whatever lessons, you're going to be like walking karma the next little, this little period of time. Okay. So let's see what we get for advice. You guys are also going to be slowing down to confirmation you guys are going to be slowing down to deal with this trickery because everyone's going to be feeling like their communication is a little bit wonky right now because of this mars and mercury retrograde okay so just take your time because devil in reverse you guys are going to be 
releasing yourself, liberating yourself, breaking these chains. People want you to bow down to them all the time. They're mad that you are a leader. It's like rags to riches. Comment down below. I live the life I deserve. They're very jealous of your relationship too. So comment down below. If you're with your divine counterpart, okay? If you're with your divine counterpart, you are birthing a lot of ideas with this person. And you guys are creating things together. So comment down below. Um, this is no ordinary love. You have a lot of things blooming. And this is just a, a karmic cycle that needs to be completed. So um, you're learning, you're completing a cycle about being assertive or dealing with authority. Stay focused, facing fears. Change is unfolding. So you're going to be facing fears with confidence. Even if it deep down it's scary as hell. But this is part of your glow up. These people with this judgment day, they're going to be in the hot seat. But guess, guess what the next card out is? You are protected. You are a spiritual teacher. You are the pretty woman, okay? Like the movie Pretty Woman. Yeah, drop your microphones down below. Everyone's going to hear you. No one can conceal their insecurities around you anymore so yes you do have to brace yourself but it's because you're going to handle each person as a cycle as a chapter that you are closing so you can start this new era you are breaking these chains on how you deal with bullies you are breaking these chains on how you deal with authority figures or elders so instead of retreating or um, not answering the phone or walking on eggshells like you are not tiptoeing around authority anymore okay comment down below i'm not tiptoeing around authority anymore period period these people are going to get found out for not being so sweet for being a fraud for being a fake uh they're going to get found out for having this lingering resentment for trying to hold on to money blessings or something of yours okay there's information or something that they were withholding um, while trying to see what was going on in your life, thinking that they could attack you. And it's just not going down like that. Like you guys are about to unleash your microphone. Okay, you are about to unleash your your righteous rage. Comment down, comment down below. I am unleashing my righteous rage okay i am unleashing my righteous rage rage <laughs> okay comment down below my destiny is mine by birthright so you guys could be feeling um like me or you're just like oh my gosh my words are here they're there they're here they're there so take your time you can mic drop them with a sentence or two you can put the insecurity back in their court, back on their side of the street. You are a spiritual teacher. You are being divinely guided. You are divinely protected. All these people that can't conceal who they really are anymore, they're about to be in the hot seat, okay? Stay focused on facing your fears. Yes, these changes are unfolding, but you are the empress, okay? This is only going to make you more fertile, more blessed, more abundant. And you're okay with being the lone wolf. You're okay with being the lone wolf. Comment down below, I am the breaker of chains. I am the breaker of chains. I am the star messenger. I have all the resources I need. I love that. Well, hopefully, we're in the pre-shadow phase. Hopefully you guys can understand what I was saying because I was like tripping over every word. I can just feel this, this energy, uh, communication energy heavy. And um, I just wanted to get this message out for you guys. Don't forget to smash the you know what. Drop your favorite affirmation down below. Don't forget you were made for all of this shit. Okay, so drop your favorite affirmation down below. I'd love to hear from you guys on how this resonates. And yeah, just thank you guys for all of your love and support. 
and I will see you guys in the next one.